stars come out staring into galaxies Do we need the pixies who will grant us all our wishes? Good morning! It's an exciting weekend ahead. We're about to move the boat onto the Langochlin Canal, which means that we're heading towards Wales. And I don't know why it excites me so much to be like changing countries on the boat. I don't know, I think that's so cool. But yeah, we're gonna move the boat. We've got a few locks to do. And then we've got quite an exciting weekend because we've got our best friend May coming to visit us. She also lives on a boat, but she's driving up to see us. She's been a friend of ours for many, many years. She actually performed the ceremony at our wedding. She, she officiated our wedding, which is really cool. And then she leaves and then all of my family come to the boat. So my mum, my sister, my sister's three children, my mum's friend. So I don't really know how it's going to go down having like nine people on the boat. But let's see. I'm excited for it. Hello, I'm Adam. I'm Lauren. And this is Shanti. We all live together on board our 59 foot narrow boat. Join us as we show you what our day to day life is like living on the British water. Lauren always having to sort out 9,000 hula hoops anytime we want to go anywhere. Maybe we should put these in the car. I think that's a very good idea. So we just unfortunately passed a big dead swan in the water and that's actually I think now the sixth dead swan we've seen in the last few days and I spoke to someone about it yesterday and apparently there's a really bad case of bird flu so the swans are catching it and they're just not surviving but yeah it's actually been quite traumatic so we were feeding them last week and then I saw one dead swan on the towpath and then another in the water and then everyone kept saying they've seen them so I really hope something gets sorted with it but I don't really know what they can do. Uh, but yeah, quite sad actually to see. There it is, the sign for the Langochlin Canal. Eee, exciting! So I've opened the first lock, but the problem is, it's very windy and the wind is against us. So Lauren's struggling to manoeuvre the boat. So I'm going to try and help her get into the lock. So I'm currently trying to pull the boat into the lock because it was just such a tight bend and the wind was so crazy. She's nearly in. Just about a 20 point turn to go. Good teamwork. Today we have a stall at a craft fair in the local village in Nantwich where we're moored. We haven't done a fair in ages, we used to do them a lot so we just have kind of a lot of stock that are things we used to sell like dream catchers and some of Lauren's handmade jewellery and some crystals. Uh, so it should be really fun, It'd be nice to connect with some of the local community and yeah good way to spend a Saturday. It's usually a good vibe when we do a stall so we're just organising the boat now, about to pack the car and let's see how it goes. We're in quite a lucky place to be doing a fair because we need to load the car and the car's just there. So literally just taking everything over now. Sometimes we're about a 10-15 minute walk away from the car so it's rare we get a spot right outside the boat. So we're winning and Shanti's allowed to come to to the fair so we're going to set up and then come back and get him. Oh, don't slip. <laughs> we headed into town early to check out the local market. Wow, 
wow, look at those. What you found, babe? Get excited about the insoles. <laughs> We just went for a quick coffee before the fair and I was having a look at the poster. I was like, Lauren, we got to go. It's 10 past 12. We're meant to be setting up at 12. And it turns out the fair's tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see. So back home we go. <laughs> but we got to see the Nantwich market. Cross fingers. Cross fingers. Um, we're going, we're going under. under this. And if you cross your fingers, it brings you good luck for the bad luck. Um, but it means that we can go and do some painting today. So now we're going to finish off the lounge. Good news, and we'll do the fair tomorrow, and the car's already packed. <laughs> Good morning, happy Sunday. Round two of us trying to go to this fair after yesterday's disaster. Well, it wasn't a disaster, actually, because we got loads done, didn't we? Yes, we did. Shanti, you're going to stay here for a little bit, and then we'll come back and get you, and you'll come to the fair. So here we are. I accidentally only brought square and rectangle covers because I assumed the tables wouldn't be circle. We do have circle covers, but oh no, this one kind of fits. We've got our rail up and this is the room. Oops. We're all set up and ready to go. Got all of our crystals and rings and stuff and our friend makes a lot of this stuff. Some tops and some of our paintings. We're back from the fair. It was a little bit of a flop, to be honest. We sold a few things, had a couple of conversations. It wasn't that busy, but we went there and we did it. And now we're back and we're gonna celebrate that we even did it. And Lauren's gonna make a cake. Yee, what cake are we having? Lemon drizzle cake. Lemon drizzle cake. My request, actually. Yee. <laughs> 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 Expert baker. <laughs> I'll wait for my cake. <laughs> Should we try that again, babe? <laughs> oh, I've done it now. I think I only need two eggs. The cake is ready. Don't get too close, you see it's cutting off. <laughs> Accidentally broke in half, but it looks amazing. I'm very lucky. My wife has made me dinner and a cake tonight. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm oh, such a good wife. <laughs> I couldn't contain myself to start eating it before I showed you it. It is epic, it's still warm. Well done, you. You like it? Mm-hmm. That didn't last long. <laughs> it's honestly the softest cake I've ever made. I don't know how I've done that. Was it different to how you've made cakes before? Um, yeah, the, the method was different. It's extremely soft. It's like a cloud. It, it really is. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to blow my own trumpet, but I love it. You're proud of your cake? Yeah. Another slice? <laughs> <laughs> on a cruise and we've got a special guest today sounds like lauren's complaining about how much water she put in her tea what did you say <laughs> lovely may that's me how you doing i'm good i'm really good i'm really happy that i'm here and it's beautiful and there's nothing better the reason i'm living on a boat is because of you guys so the fact that i'm here today is lovely much as we may love this woman, this is the kind of tea she makes. <laughs> Can you see how much tea is in my mug? <laughs> Anything to say for yourself? Yes, I have many, many excuses and I can justify myself, but I'm not going to because I'm better than that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Wood lessons with May. <laughs> My family are about an hour away from coming to visit us for a few days and they've managed to find an apartment that's literally right on the canal just five minutes away from our boat and we've been a bit cheeky because we went to collect their keys and we know they're going to be another hour so we're basically armed with all of our electricals that need charging we're going to go charge my laptop our portable charger our phones we're going to have a nice long shower there we've got our shampoo lauren's even got a hair dryer and yeah the most of it. <laughs> these small things that i guess you don't even think about sometimes obviously we have a shower and we have electricity but we're a lot more mindful about using it so i mean i guess it's not technically very nice on the people whose apartment it is but no. my family you, you won't be you using have a, a slightly longer shower than usual yeah it's... and just appreciate it small things and like I've that got a hair dryer which i don't usually use yeah you never we could, use it we could use it but I just don't. I, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I'd actually say you, we talk about having things on the boat we don't use enough because of space. I feel like the hair dryer needs to go. No. <laughs> I've never seen you use it. It's because I never need to, like, I never go anywhere nice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> take me anywhere nice. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'll take you somewhere nice when, when you the, use when the hair dryer. When I go somewhere nice, I use the hair dryer. I'm just chilling on the boat. No, no, it's not necessary. Fresh out of a long, long shower. <laughs> Had a nice, well it wasn't that long, um, had a nice shower, used the hair dryer. Wearing all your new clothes, where are they all from? The charity shop. Charity shop. got some of these lovely jeans. I got this lovely long sleeve purple top to keep me warm. This lovely jumper. Charity shop. It's actually a really nice apartment that they're staying in as well. We got everything on charge. We got our my laptop and my portable charger over there, the speaker up there. And they should be here in around five minutes. Found some wood. 
gonna keep us warm for a few days. So we currently have seven people in our narrowboat kitchen. I was worried about space and we're all fitting in the kitchen. Oh, eight, Shanti's here as well. <laughs> right, Alice, she's gonna be in charge of the lock. So she pop, pops the uh, key on, wonderful. And she starts winding it and it gets a little bit tough, doesn't it? Yeah. So you need to be super strong. Well done, Ella. Let's see where they are. They're approaching the bridge. It's slowly coming up. Slow down. We're not ready for you yet. What are you doing? Thank you so much for watching. Please leave us a comment and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel.